I know. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. It's Kelly here, and my sister's in the room, and she was doing the intro with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing or showing you guys how to make the. I did this before. This is the fourth time I've done the intro. The charms that I've been making and I've been putting in my jewelry and I might as well show you and I've been thinking I literally thought for like the first time today to actually do a collab with my sister I mean I've already done one I'm pretty sure it was with me and Kate. yeah you and Caden and those who knows me better and it was definitely Kat because oh, yeah. we share literally everything even when we're like three feet away from each other, we still text. <laughs> because it's fun. Yes, I have another one. Peach. It's kind of my thing at this point. I have to have one to film a video. <laughs> I've always had one. Anyway, to begin, what you'll need is. Acrylic flat back gems. Let me move the computer down. Acrylic flat back gems. Now you can use any shape, any color, whatever pleases you. I'm doing. I have so many. I have so many at this point that it's kind of hilarious. Yeah. Okay. I have hearts. What did you do? Small ovals, big ones, rectangle prisms, and big. Uh, star points, eight point stars, um, small rectangulars, squares, circles, tangents. Is sad. <laughs> and circles. Um, I've also got mini ones, like tiny ones, right here. Um, I'm going to do one section at a time, and guys, I just figured out how to edit. So I could turn off this video, turn on another one, and put a flip screen in between, and it'd be awesome. <laughs> I finally figured out. <sighs> Took me a month. Okay, so I'm going to do, um, uh, let's see, I'm going to do the, uh, let's do the big ovals. I'll do the big ovals first, and I guess every video I'll show you my progress. Now what you need is, of course, a click flat back gems, flat back, because you can actually put the glue on, um, You'll also need, uh, give me a second, difficult to find them, I put them back, no, um, are they those things on your desk? No, yes it is on my desk, um, clasps, open and close ones. Or you can make your own, which is what I'm going to be doing with paper clips. Um, I, f I forgot to get um, pliers. Which ones? Uh, the bottle nose. The bold bottle nose. I'll get them. Uh, I got the you. blue, red, and green. This tiny green ones. Yep. And you can use super glue or. Like, I'm using hot glue this time because I used super glue before. And if you want to use super glue, I would recommend using baking soda. And, um, I recommend using baking soda to, um, sprinkle on top and make sure the top layer, uh, catalyzes. Ah, oh, perfect. Thank you. I noticed. I got an angel. Got a glare. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. 
So what you want first is to take your acrylic flat back. Or you might want to make the thing first. Yeah, you might want to make the thing first. So take it. Take one bottle nose pliers, needle nose, bottle nose, whichever one they're called. And you'll want to get ones with a cutting edge to it that cut wires, and it'll do just perfect for these. Cut it to a length, doesn't matter what length. It takes a bit of get to arm strength to cut it. You go flying. Um, take it. Approximately someplace. Wrap it around. That's what the second one is for. To grab it. Wrap it around there. Squeeze in, or at least grab it, yes, and squeeze in. Or you can just cut it right now. Cut. Hopefully it doesn't go into my eye. There it is. You want to shrink it. And take it. Take it. Take two. And then just manipulate it. Manipulate it into giving you a good seam. And then you want to take your glue of choice, hot glue, super glue, regular glue, whichever one satisfies you. You want to place a little dollop on the actual gem. Little dollop. Place your hook right on top. And now you just wait for it to set. And then you can add another layer for extra security. If you want, I do because, uh, you know. Oh, uh, yeah, that. There we go. Thank you. And. There's your first one, and I just repeat it. I might cut this video, or finish this and cut, and so I finally figured out how. It's awesome. And then, once it dries, we'll give it a bit. Uh, where am I? Where's the first one? Here it is. Again, take your cut it flying somewhere there it is when flying take it wrap it around does it matter where you can judge based off of how um, big you want it to be how much you want it to stick out how pretty how close you want it to be in um, you can take it uh, cut Grab on, grab on, and manipulate. Ah!
You might want to prepare these beforehand. Okay, that's fine. Grab your gem. You might want to prepare the actual strokes first. Like the... Um... things first before you do anything. I didn't because I wanted to show you guys how we do it. It is hot so be very 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 careful. I've burned myself way too many times with it. Okay. So this one is good and set. Then you want to take your good shiny perfect ones you want to open it up, just want to wrap it around, close it, and you have a pendant, and it's perfect, and you got your very first one done, and just continue. Uh, I might shut this off, and see you guys. See you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I haven't completed yet, but I decided to give you guys just a bit of advice before I decide to let you guys go for a bit. And so let's say you're right here and you can't get it to close. Well, I just got it to close, but let's say you can't get it to close. You can have a bit of a gap, like I did for this one. You can have a bit of a gap as long as it get, both ends get covered, okay? Because the goal is just to keep the thing in place before it... um. So it doesn't fall out. Uh, there you go. And now I do believe that is only the advice I can give you. Um, if you want um, actual more instructions on how to do it, I will leave it in the description box. All the materials you need and how to do it. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys. It's a couple minutes later, and I have mostly finished them, but I decided to give you guys a different scenario. Like, Kylie, I don't want to do any of the extra work. I don't want to do any of the pliers and things like that. You yeah, can just me. use, you can just use regular open and close plier, um, whatever they're called. The name has just left me. And do the same thing normally would. And yeah. Anyway, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it's a day later, and that my one. Anyway, um, I kind of fell asleep. No, I didn't. I didn't fall asleep till like one o'clock. I kind of got too lazy watching Bama. Well, we didn't watch it. I listened to it. Anyway, um, they're basically done at this point. I didn't put on the clasps yet. My sister's standing over me. Doing something. Hey guys. I'm just observing. I so would recommend you again. use the hot glue instead of the um, not more flexible. Super glue. One, because what she said. And number two, it's a heck of a lot quicker. It is. And it's, like, it's way more flexible. And durable. And durable. Yeah. So, I'd recommend using the hot glue. I said you can use super glue. You could. Okay, have fun. But, um, yeah. Yeah. 
This is such a short video. I normally spend like 30 hours filming the same video. No, I don't. I spend like normally just an hour filming the same video. But, um, yeah, they're finished. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. It wasn't really. Yes, I did make it up. I'm not sure if anyone else has done it yet. Because I didn't look it up. I just tried and did it one day when I was watching um, The Hobbit. So. I'm not sure if anyone else has done it. Um, there's also another scenario where, like, I don't have any of those clips, Kylie. Okay, there. I don't have any of these clips. But name is still left. Where are they? <clears throat> yes. It says it on this thing. Oh, the jump rings. Kylie, I don't have jump rings. I only have paper clips. What do I do? You could just do the whole thing with paper clips. Um, you will want to close those completely. Do I have one? Yeah. You're going to want to close it completely to be able to do it. Obviously not on the one that's getting glued because it's still getting glued. See this one? This is the biggest gap that I think I have. Um, <clears throat> I didn't sleep well last night. That's why I'm kind of... Yeah. So you will want to close it up. I also used... Um, thinner ones for these for the close ones um well a because i that's what i had and b it's b, it's um a whole lot easier to actually manipulate um but uh you can just remember you can just finish it off with a jump ring i can manipulate these kind of that one was one of the easier ones to do it but um yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. I'm back. Hello. I'm finishing up. Peace. Bye-bye.